hedgehogs are absolutely mental. They look more like a medieval weapon than an animal, yet somehow are also incredibly cute. Just look at that little face. But sadly, their population in the UK is plummeting faster than my hairline. In this video, I'll explain why they're disappearing, what we can do to save them, and of course, attempting to track one down myself. Right, come on. Right. Right, come on in, buddy. Me and Finchy, you come over here, bud. I'm just setting up this camera because we are at your grandma and granddad's house, aren't we? Yeah. And we happen to know that there is a hedgehog that lives somewhere around here, doesn't he? I don't know where he is. Can you hold this here? Okay. Push on it. Like this. Yeah, hold it there. Don't let it slip. So we're setting up this trail camera. I'm going to see where... It... <laughs> hold it up. There we go. Yeah, you push it there. So we're setting up this camera and we're going to check it later and we're going to... <laughs> we're going to check it later and we're going <laughs> to... Were you holding it against the tree, you crazy man? Push! Push! There we go. Don't move. I can do it now. Yeah, if you hold it there for a second and let me explain to the people what we're doing. Right, that'll do. Does that look at you? Yeah. So that is now ready for when the little hedgehogs come out at night time and then we can check the footage and see what they're doing, what they like to eat, what their names are, hey? What their hobbies are, what do you think their hobbies are? What do they like to do? I don't know. What do hedgehogs like to do, Finch? This. What? This. <laughs> well, they look like that. Yes. He's got a point to be fair, they kind of look like this. And what do you want to do when you find a hedgehog? Cheeky. Cheeky. Hedgehog. Cheeky hedgehog. Right, you heard it from the man himself. All set up. Good boy. All set up. Oh, now we need to get a little dish, don't we, to fill up with some food for him. Just over here. Can you go that way? Where are they? I saw them right here. Watch out for the stingers. Can you pick that dish up for me? What? Pick up that green dish. Which one? Yeah, pick it up. Uh, boy, uh, pull that out. We don't. He's not going to want to eat that, is he? Uh, shall I help you? Yeah. You, you nasty, nasty dish. Right, you take this. Right, and now let's go and ask Granddad for some food to put in it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Can you carry this? Okay. You're going to ask Granddad for some food, though, yeah? Can I have food, Granddad? We need food. What for? Yeah. We need some food. What for? Mm. What for? Who are we feeding? A hedgehog. That's right. It's it's stinky. Shall I put some in the bowl? Yeah. It's a bit stinky. It smells a bit fishy, doesn't it? Hold it flat. Oh, that looks tasty. Is that enough for the hedgehog? Yeah. Should we take it to them? Yeah. Are you going to carry it? No, you do it. Okay. <laughs> How many hedgehogs do you think we're going to see, Finch? Uh, two. Two. All right. Let's no, not lots. 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 Yeah. Cool. I think all of the hedgehogs will come to, to eat some food tonight. Maybe there might be lots to eat tonight. Let's hope so. I hope so. Do you think they might be hungry? Yeah. Tonight. They'll have a nice dinner then, won't they? Yeah. And we might wake up. Yes, they will. Yeah. And they might look at us. Can you hold it? Yeah. And Daddy will show you where to put it. Right, if you put it somewhere like there, Finch. Here? Well, uh, somewhere behind you. That might be a bit close. Just here. Good job. And then, they won't come out until night time, but we'll be able to check and see if they turn up. <laughs> a closer one. <laughs> nice. Before we see what me and Finch captured on the trail camera, let's find out what's been happening to these awesome little creatures. Back in the 1950s, there was an estimated 30 million hedgehogs in the UK, so I assume people were picking them off their feet like Legos in a kid's playroom. 
The most recent estimates, however, suggest that there are now fewer than 1 million, which means roughly 97% of them are gone. And there are three main reasons for this. Hedgehogs can be found moseying about in hedgerows, surprise, surprise, gardens, meadows and woodland edges. Hedgerows to hedgehogs are like the M25 to Londoners, acting as highways for these critters to travel along safely while searching for food. Since the mid-20th century, Britain has lost an estimated half of its hedgerows due to agricultural practices, road building and urban expansion. At the same time, in towns and suburbs, things like impenetrable fences and overly tidy gardens have created smaller and smaller pockets of suitable habitat for them. This can lead to hedgehogs being trapped in a small handful of gardens, unable to find a mate or sufficient food, leading to local extinctions. Since the 1950s, UK farming has shifted towards large-scale, intensive practices. This has created landscapes far less suitable for these lovely spiky balls to exist in. Small fields with mixed crops and natural edges have been replaced with large monocultures. This means fewer hedges and wild patches for hedgehogs to use. Also, far more insecticides are used nowadays, which have had a huge impact on the amount of prey available for tons of animals, including hedgehogs. Roads are one of the most direct causes of death for hedgehogs. Estimates suggest that between 100,000 and 300,000 are run over every year on Britain's roads, which is quite a horrifying figure, isn't it? Roadkill is particularly high where suburban areas meet countryside where hedgehogs tend to move between their feeding and nesting areas. I'll share with you what can be done to tackle these issues soon, but for now, let's see what the trail camera picked up. The short answer is absolutely nothing, apart from Billy the cat having a sniff of the food and Finch and Aid coming to check whether anything had eaten any of the goodies the following morning. So I decided to reposition the camera elsewhere in the garden and try my luck again. And this time, I failed as well. But I did manage to get a nice chicken montage a brief shot of a beautiful fox, more Billy the Cat, more Finch and Aid, and some nighttime footage of someone who looked well worth subscribing to. But then, on the next night, while the trail camera was set up in yet another new location, failing to get any footage there, I heard a small snuffly sound coming from the original spot and went to investigate. Oh my god, it's the cutest thing in the world. Oh my goodness. That is so amazing. He hasn't even gone into a ball. Oh my god. He's so tiny. He's a really small one. I'm finding every animal in the UK. And this especially awesome find puts me on 189 out of 378 creatures found. Which means I'm officially halfway. So how do we save these delightful creatures? So this is all it really takes to make your garden hedgehog friendly. A little hole like that in one of your fence panels, just so they can sneak in and out. And then in my parents' garden, they even have a little hedgehog home. If you're feeling really generous. I'm sure there's no one in it. But look, they even put a bit of moss in there, so they've got a bit of comfort if they do wander in. They've got a little hole down there for them to clamber in and out of. Not a bad setup, really. The Hedgehog Street campaign encourages neighbours to do this to create linked wildlife corridors. Thousands of people have mapped their holes on the big hedgehog map, which I'll leave a link to in the video's description. Let me know in the comments whether you'll be popping a small hole under one of your fence panels and proudly adding yourself to the map. If you want to help hedgehogs out even more in your garden, creating things like log piles, compost heaps, leaf piles or wildflower patches will all be of great benefit to them too. The use of wildlife crossings and tunnels is slowly gaining some traction in the UK. This is something that I'd really love to see implemented more, as I'm sure we can all agree there is a lot of dead animals lining Britain's roads. And personally, it bums me out to see it every time. We only have about 100 species of mammal in the UK, and 18 of those are bats. So it would be incredibly sad to lose any of the wonderful creatures on that list, especially one as unique and amazing as our hedgehogs. I do believe that we can turn the tide in favour of these little guys if we make the effort. 
and I really hope that those of you that have your own garden will consider doing what you can to save hedgehogs before it's too late. Thank you so much for giving this video a watch, and I'll see you in the next one.